Shoot it. Oh god. No, no. I... I literally cannot see. I cannot see it. Ah! So let me explain. <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to do a full playthrough of the Mortuary Assistant. So let's start our new shift. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations. Pay attention to Grandma's story. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. That's for us. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. Not only does Grandma tell the best stories. I, I don't know if I want that. She gives the Just gifts. take it, please. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know she get a job and her grandma doesn't really like it because everyone thinks that uh, something weird's going on here. <laughs> All right. Here we go. My car. All right. Make some coffee. Quack. All right. So first, what do I have to do? Pencil. Perfect. Great. Oh probably read the big yellow thing. Rebecca, <clears throat> one last thing I forget to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Good luck. Oops. <laughs> pencil. Nice. Does it tell me what it is? Uh, no. Okay. To the bodies we go. Rebecca. Great. Perfect timing. Oh, hello. I Raymond. just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Alright. Let me go here. See if I get the, uh, gurney mechanics any better than the uncomplete playthrough we did a couple weeks ago. I need a mouse pad to... Dun, dun, dun. I don't have one. And I feel as though it would be a lot easier if I did. Alright. Gurney. Gurney. Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Your work here is done. Um. You know, I just... I just never set mine back up because I've moved my PC setup probably 50 times over the past two years. Oh, I gotta pull her out. I gotta pull out between being at my old apartment and then moving it to Darian's old apartment and then moving it back to my apartment and then moving it back to my parents' house and then moving it to Darian's house and then moving it back to my house. <clears throat> The PC has moved a lot. <laughs> so where my mouse pad is, 
God only knows. She looks oiled up. Oiled up? All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. All right. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Can do, sir. So I guess I, um... Kind of said he was a bad boss last time we played for not actually showing me how to do all this stuff. But turns out he did. I just didn't play the way that it wanted me to. Da, 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 da. Um, no, I'm not sure she's dead. But we're gonna find out together. <clears throat> hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Oh. Thought I, I thought I bumped something on my way by. I thought that was me. Oh, lady, are you... Deader? Betty? Betty Spaghetti? I didn't check her other hand. Do, 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 do. This body looks different. Yeah. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After oh, that, Raymond. we'll get started. To enter, enter cadaver information, click You'll the record. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y uh, yeah, I'm fine. Sure. Sorry. Great. Just don't whisper about dying in my ear again, and we will be fine. Just over your shoulder. Don't die. Four out of four. Great submit. On our way. Hello, sir. Please don't stand that close to me and whisper in my ear the things of death. Mm -hmm. All right, and time to embalm. Time to embalm the body. Making great strides here. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Ah, thank you. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Today was my review, and I feel like I'm doing great. Um, not the eye capsules, we need this one first. Uh, first the teeth, then the eyes, then the blood. Whap, whap, whap. All right, there we go. So far, so good. A lot less creepy in the the nice dusk sunlight to be in here. I'm glad he leaves us in the dark to do this all alone. One eyeball, two eyeballs. All right. And time to put the stuff in. At least he lays it all out in a proper fashion. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. I like how he's BSing me this entire time. Hmm. You know, definitely not demons are haunted here. But, uh... I'll, I'll take care of that. You just don't worry your little head about it. Some stomach cavity goopins. Like how he's not having me add the demon blood just yet. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fill my goop bag. <clears throat> this game is supposed to be spooky. <laughs> um. I can't use that here. Yeah, I figured I picked up the wrong thing. I don't know how I picked up the wrong thing. Yeah, right now we're just getting into it. What am I what am I not doing right? Uh
Well, I guess I'm supposed to do this first. This is the thing I'm supposed to do first. I can't hold anything else. But I did learn how to drop things from the last time I played because that took me about 15 minutes, minutes, minutes to figure out how to drop those stuffs. Yeah, once uh, once he actually has me putting in the demon blood, that's when it starts to get scary. It's not just, <laughs> imagine, just a game that's like, here you go, just do this for a living. I guess it's kind of like a uh, power washer simulator. I'm gonna run away from the thing while it makes that loud noise. I don't like the loud noises. The blood drain out. Can I talk to you for a second? Okay, my bag back it. Oh my god. Did I just see something? Oh. Maybe I just went. Maybe I just blinked. Maybe it was just me. I thought I saw something. Okay. Um, tummy. Tummy time. <laughs> kind of looked like a person ran across the, uh, the back hallway. But... I also was looking seven different places at once, so... Maybe I didn't see anything. Hope nobody's eating right now. Pretty disgusting. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Now to the closet. The bathroom. Mm. Oh. Game lagged. Alright, let's look at our little clippy board. Did most of the things that we need to do, cleaning, then we just moisturize and return the body. Gee. Oh! Didn't realize you could pull it up in a more legible fashion. Interesting. Moisturizers, please. I don't know what grandma was saying. It's not scary here at all. Oh, okay. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? sure? I just got here. Don't worry. Bye, I guess. I think he sensed that that woman was a demon. That he needs to blood the demon. All right. Promoted to Demon Slayer. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <sighs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You are doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badges and your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. 
that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, where are my keys? Pick up our keys and go to work. And if demons take over my computer once more, we're just gonna have to figure it out later. Oh. <laughs> Good interpretation, Darian. I do think that might have been the demon body. <laughs> so demonish, in, in fact, that it shut down all of my programs. It does get up a warning at the beginning of this game that if uh, paranormal stuff starts to happen, it's because this game is based on true events. And that you could start being haunted. So now my PC is just haunted. Alright, let's go to work. Go to work, go to work, go to work, and try to get this done. Oh, God. Beep beep. There used to be a video game that was like that. Um, I, I can't remember the title of it, but there is a horror game that actually did um, All right. mess so with your PC and, and do stuff like do stuff like that. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, get that achievement. Throw the vase. <gasps> Why am I gasping? Oh god, my computer's lagging again. What? Why does... Yes? Hi, Rebecca. M Mr. Delver! I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just oh. try to stay calm. Apparently I missed something. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. Oh, he locked we me in here. Start Sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine, so we stay calm, okay? Cold? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. <sighs> what the fuck? This is insane. This is okay. just crazy, Raymond. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. All right, Rebecca, let's go. Ooh, I did not know you could shut off lights. Why would you ever want to do this? Okay. Um. I just can't. Go to the next room? I should have been paying attention. This is what I get for not paying attention. Da -da -da. He's probably supposed to pick something up, put something down, grab keys. Maybe it's on his desk. Oh, probably the box that says my name. Fucking idiot. I'm a dummy. Of course it's the box that says my name. That's not it. quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? It does seem a little bit absurd to be locked into your office. Yes, sir? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. 
Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. I'm a quick learner. Oop. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen yes. to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <sighs> this is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Be professional. Be professional. The night shift database. Yeah, I'm gonna a let you guys listen to what we need to do. Into one be right back. Database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Sure thing, sir. Oops. You can spin it around. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Chalupa. Uh, broke back mountain. Don't know what you said. But, uh, apparently it wasn't good enough for my mod to think. Two four 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 one. It it thought it thought it was too out of pocket to show and chat. Whatever. Just grab a body and get started. <laughs> yeah. It probably does. Oh, way too many O's for my mod. Way too many O's. <laughs> it it is a um. It is a bot, so I have to work on some of the, uh, um, not having it be so strict. I can, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go into my settings and have it be a lot less strict when it comes to that. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we have Winford, Will, or Whitney. All W names. Who do we think the W name? Hey, <laughs> uh. at least at least you're used to bots being on ya. We'll start with Winford. Benevolent talks. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's go get our first Cadaver. Hey, it's okay. Crummy old building. Not anyone can Fuck be dealt quads. Shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, you know it would really help a mouse pad. Just me that once. Hmm. Trying to use context clues. <laughs> All right, let's check you out. Gotta love them toes. Today's the day. You know, sometimes you just know. Sometimes you just have a feeling when the day is that you'll deal quads, or you just say today's the day every day. <laughs> Uh, you just say today's the day every day, and then it will always happen eventually. At least I can keep track of things. 
It's like the other day when I was dealing blackjack, and I was like, oh, don't worry. When I was showing a 10, I'll just have a 6 underneath and then pull a 9. Or whatever I said. And okay. Hello? Hello? Alright. Uh, so I need to get an achievement. So. We gotta try to run away. Maybe... No. Maybe... Everything's fine. It's... it's fine. Let me out of here. Let me yeah. out of here. <laughs> no, I... I you're just... you're just... I'm just... Oh, good. Let me out. I'm just seeing things. Let me out. I... need to get back to work. It's... it's fine. Nope. Alright. So we're gonna try to leave. We're gonna try to leave, and then we're gonna try to leave. Oh, the gate's locked. I don't know what part of the fence I need to- the fence. Yeah, get that achievement, no way out. <laughs> Should start mo mortuary karaoke. All right, um, I guess I'll continue now. Got that achievement. I have Mr. Winford here. Uh, can I look at you again? I need my clipboard. Uh, all I know is contusion. Contusion on your leg. Next. <laughs> Don't really have a choice. I'm stuck here. Fuck. Rotate. Rotate. I am stuck. Great, now that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cat scratch. Did you know that if you die in the house and you have cats, they will eat you to survive? There we go. Just a fun fact. Even though they love you, they'll eat your eyeballs first. All right, uh, it was seven, four, 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 one, something like that. Yeah, we'll get a four, seven, 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 one. No, <laughs> I gotta go back and check because too many things happen. I mean, you'll always feed your cats, but if you die, you can't feed your cat, so. Oh, I get it, yeah. You'll feed them even in the afterlife. I mean, I don't think I would mind, uh,. Being my cat's food in the afterlife. Like, what else am I gonna do? Can't really do anything else with my body. <laughs> I need to file the copy up front. Yes, we do. Time to embalm. For science, I feel as though Lucian would be very happy eating my eyeballs. Let's listen to this other cassette to see what we have to do with her for the embalming. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Stop Identifying resisting. a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found how far along the possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about there we it. There go. Just scribble. All right. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. Let me There's scribble for you. There's a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Hello? Outside. Oh, can I open this window? Oh, I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing that again. Um, what was I doing again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was checking my insanity and I'm fine. Uh, but now 
I have to put his eyeball closers in. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take that for later. But that's not what I wanted. There you go. Eye claps. Eye caps. The clamps. The clamps. Boop, boop. All right. All right, next on the agenda is uh, this stuff. Did I just throw that down? No, I did. E okay. Ta da! To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. Check the bathroom. When the mark okay. is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, oh, it is. Force the demon Thanks, to Darian. To it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been so good at somewhere this game. in that area. Such a good helper. Be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Ooh, who's here? Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. <laughs> Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. All right. So this is the sigil thing he was talking about. Those are the sigil things he was talking about. That's the reagent. Those are the lighting strips. On to what we're doing. Um, I got two things in there. Now I just need this and one more. I'm having a feeling things are about to get... Uh, my heart racing. I'm looking for that one last reagent. Unless I already put it in. Let me see. One, two, three. I knew I was missing something. Oh, here it is. Alright, now we have those two things and we need the these. Good. Let's cut his neck open like uh, we were doing before with that lady before he sent us home. Back and turn that on. Run away so we don't have to listen to it but we can also find maybe a sigil around here. Some scary stuff. Some spooky things. Surprise, nothing else has happened yet. Um, I did turn the haunto meter up this time around because we didn't have a lot of. Mmm, yep. Nope, no, no, no. Okay. The worst part is, I don't know where those lights are over there. Uh, ah, here it is. I don't know why that hurt my heart so much. <laughs> thought something was gonna jump up at me. Ugh, back. Okay. Oh god, grandma. Okay, I need 
like this. <laughs> I didn't want that, but I'll take it. Now where are the bags for the tummy? Tummy bags. It's freaking me out today. Freaking out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't want to look over there. I know I have to, but I don't want to look over there. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Where is the bags? The IV bags? Am I? Oh, there it is. I'm scared. I'm scared. How's this? Way more scary than last week. <laughs> Need more storyline stuff to happen. <laughs> no, no big ghouls popping out though. There we go. No ghouly stuff happening. All right, gotta get the cleaner. Oh, there we go. Storyline stuff. Will you help me? Who is it? A small photo. Front, 1970. Back, the year of arrival of a house of death. The birth of its creator. The full number shall be six. The mortuary that we're in right now. Okay. Um, goodbye. Blonde lady. Okay. Alright. Want to take a vote on whether he's going to be there or not? Okay, he's there. <laughs> Taking a poll, will he be there? <laughs> Alright, letting the strip. Where are ye? Siji. Not on the ceiling, not over here. On the back of this, maybe? There we go. It is. a tornado. Tornado. <laughs> this one. I was like, where's the tornado? Okay, so let's get that um, code again. So we can log into the night shift stuff. Two, four, 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 one. Two, four, 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 one. I was almost certain that uh, the body was not going to be there. <laughs> okay. So yes, this is where we record things, this is a night shift, this is how we find out what the demons are, like he was saying in his little um, recorder things, recordings earlier. Let's check our sanity. <laughs> We're not too possessed. We're not that possessed. Um, now that I say that. Okay, moisturizer, and then we'll return the body. Oh, let's get another letting strip, though. My back is always turned for the scares. Moisturizer. Put this away. And moisturize his face. All right. All right. Let's go, Wilfred. Or Winifred. I hate that sound because it sounds like either somebody's running or knocking on the window, and I don't know what the difference is. I would rather be knocking on the window and not disembodied footsteps, but, you know. 
Can't always get what we wish for. Gurney. I think I'm getting better at gurney usage, though. I could not for the life of me. Uh do this properly the other day when I was playing. But, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, disembodied footsteps do build character until you scream like a little baby and then you know what kind of character that is. It is a type of character. Alright, speed run this body. We got the chomps and the chomps. First, I need the foot. See if you have any marks on you. Rotate this hand. Nothing on your hand. Oh my god. Alan playing this. And... Stop. <laughs> Crash. How did... <laughs> How did this guy die? It was a car. Crash. This guy looks like the actor from, uh, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Boop, 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 boop. I got that one. I don't know. Oh my god. The slowest- <laughs> Don't ever do that, apparently. Slowest turnover known to man. And on your leg. There we go. Perfect. Speed run. Speed run. Roll <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. <laughs> ah, shit. Last time I did that, it deleted all of them when I didn't submit it. So, for the people who don't know what, uh, Darian's referring to. We have a dealer at the casino, and whenever he's done shuffling a blackjack shoe, and he has to turn the cards on their side to put them back into the shoe, he yells, roll them, because that was something that we were supposed to do, apparently. Um, oh god, if I could just get a disembodied recording of that, and have that as one of the things that you could have on the channel to like press a button there and make it happen. It'd be gold. Every time the body rolls over. Roll them. Okay. It's always it always gets me this <laughs> is no, it's not Biden. Way too young. Way too young and not wrinkly enough. Hey. Did you read the chat rules <laughs> when you opened up chat? It says no politics or religion in here. All right. <laughs> um. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're speeding through this guy. The scary stuff always happens when uh, my face is down in a cabinet. So I feel like we're missing a lot of things. Okay, I hear a creaking. Now to get this reagent. Thank you. And if you guys didn't hear a creaking, then it's probably in my house, and that's even creepier. Alright, let's put your trachs in. Your trachies. One of these, one of those. I already have the scapula. Scalpel. <laughs> scapula. No story events are happening. Very weird. Very weird. That no story events have happened. How are we going to know who Rebecca is and why she got into this? Are we just here? Is this just our lives? Why did we want to become an assistant? 
Why did we want to handle dead bodies? We just don't know. <laughs> As well. Hello? Okay, I, I can't see a bang bang on that side. Guess we'll go back inside and finish our job. To be fair, I was trying to find a sigil. I wasn't just acting all willy nilly. Although I don't think you can find one outside. I think that is not, not possible for one to be out there. Okay, so so far Winford and Will, I'm not sure how I feel about them being uh, the demon. Not much has gone on. Alright, I need a belly bag and a one of these. And the belly bags were up here. Ooh, uh, light just went off. <laughs> I was too close to see what happened. <laughs> but the light went out. and you shall receive. Hello? Oh, okay. Mm. Scary. At least I can run. Doki. What are you doing here? Uh. 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 <laughs> I guess I'm in, I'm in the closet now. What? What? It's finally happening. The scares are finally happening. I must be going a bit insane. Not all death is scary. There we go. How insane am I? Not too bad. Not too bad. I've seen worse. I have seen worse. Alright, let's clean out this thing. All right, let's try finding that sigil again. There we go. So, so far. We have three of these. It is a hook with a raindrop. So now that we have three of these, it's gonna be pretty okay to look in this night log to see if we can find the demon. So let's look at these ones. There is this swirly that we need. So the first thing to do is find the swirly. Um, nope, it's not going to be any of those. How about this guy? Swirly raindrop and swirly raindrop. I think it might be this one. Manatee. 
Swirly Raindrop Tea. We'll check the last demons just to make sure. Uh, yep, this guy has no swirlies. So we are dealing with Azel. Azel? Azel? So Swirl Drop T. No, Swirl Drop LT. Swirl Drop LT. So let's do that. He. There. Swirl Drop. Swirl. Right. Swirl Drop. Are these two backwards? Why do I always do this to myself? Go swirl, drop T. Yep. Yep. Oh, they're all wrong. <laughs> there we go. That's what we need. Um, I don't need it right now, though. Oh. People make up stories. Uh, Death is a scary thing to a lot don't of look. people. No one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming undone. All right. Uh, okay, let's moisturize him. Put him away. So so far. Nothing too crazy has happened. So. All right. It might be our last one that we're looking at. Because nothing too weird has happened with Winford or Will. So now we just have the last one. Um, although. I don't remember pulling that guy back out. Did I pull that guy back out? I, I don't think I did. Or may, maybe I did? I'm just gonna put you back in there for now. Cause I, I gotta work with this one anyway. Oh, I didn't shut that last guy? Okay. I was concerned. This is another dude? Dude joke today. Not one lady body. Well, not one lady body. Sorry, the movement on this is wrecked. Riggedy wrecked. Alright. Let me just close him. Close him up. Name is Whitney, right? I mean, I ain't judging you, man. Your name's Whitney? Your name's Whitney. Oh, Whitney, it might be you, or it might be a story of him. But you seem, uh... Like you're driving me insane already. There we go. Oh, Whitney. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Uh, she did say there we go. So that means we got all the things that we need to. But I also want to check his body for demon marks, which there are none. So. Let's put his file in. I'm just very confused. What's happening? Arm? Leg? <laughs> I, I'm either going crazy or I'm going crazy. <laughs> My sanity hasn't changed, so that one actually might be the demon. Because my sanity hasn't changed, but when I pulled him out, he made me go all 
insane. Ooh. Let's see if we can catch which uh which thing that is. It's this one. Hmm. See, I hmm. They're trying to throw me off the trail. It's like, uh, definitely not him because look, my thing is opening and shutting all pierce like. Maybe I can try that uh ash burning thing now, because I have the ashes and I have matches. There we go. So in this game, you can put ashes on top of a body, and it will tell you if it's the demon or not. Or if you have the right demon. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Alright. But, let's get through embalming this guy, and um, then we can work our way from there. Work from there after this guy's bomb. Oh god, Mila. <laughs> I have this door close to this room because it's still pretty early in the evening, so I feel as though you would be able to hear the people downstairs, so I close the door. Um, but my dog Mila, she will ram into the door and try to open it and scare the bejesums out of me, which she just did. Oh, yo, 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 yo. One of these, and one of these. One of the achievements is to beat this in 45 minutes. And I don't know if it means... Oh, I missed the reagent. I can't use that here. I know, I would like to drop it. I don't know if that just means one day, finish like a day in 45 minutes, which I feel like you could do pretty fast. Because I don't think you technically need to get the right bot. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I don't think you need to get the right body. Okay, I didn't even pick it up. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> I think it's pretty easy to finish it in 45 minutes because you don't technically need to get the proper body. Oh, God. Right over here. While that's happening, I want to check this guy's body, just to see maybe if we can see anything on his arms. Just from here. That's like, not even the creepiest thing that can happen, so... Be prepared! Stuff can happen at any time, too sneak up on you and just make you want to poop yourself. Poopy pants. We're going pretty fast, though, for this being just a... Uh... Pretty much the second time I've played this game, so. Just have to check the clipboard a couple times, but. No! Yeah, this one, as far as who the demon is, there is pretty tough because nobody's really doing anything. There's no marks on anybody. Um. It's very, it's being very, uh, <laughs> my eyes in real life just glitched out. It's being very subtle, 
a very coy demon. He doesn't want to be found. He says, don't find me. No, I don't want to be found. Okay, well. Okay, take a breath. To go outside, maybe? Oh! Outside isn't outside. What the hell is this? E excuse me? No, thank you. Was I supposed to go in there? <laughs> Get tubing by bed. Get oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if I can show this on YouTube, so I might just cut it here and then restart from after I do the thing that I shouldn't show on YouTube's. I think I can at least collect this stuff. Okay, so get the bed, the, the bathroom. Tubing. And maybe I'll just cut the act of what it wants me to do. Because I already know what it wants me to do. Although I can't see anything. It says from the bathroom, right? Am I blind? Phone. Maybe if I turn up the lighting. Sorry guys, I had to turn the brightness up to a million so I can see where this needle is on the tub. Interesting. It's only a lot less spooky right now because I can't see anything. Fine lighter, you would assume on the table. If I was a lighter, where would I be? In the fridge. Oh, lighter, nice, nice. Spoon. And let me turn this back down to that setting. Uh I meant to exit the the the, the menu, not not the game. So let's let's just go back in. I'm so good at gaming on the PC. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable how good I am at gaming. Oh no. I missed the cutscene because I'm stupid. Oh, sorry guys. I'm so sorry. Well, we didn't want to see that happen anyway. Although. I might, it might just send me back there. Because I gotta do everything all over again. I'm sorry, I'm the worst. I'm the worst around. -na 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 -na. At least I get to go crazy again. Try to be less bad at mechanics. Everything's closed. Oh no. It's <laughs> like, please tell me my thing is still there. Oh, 
Okay, rapid fire this so we can get back to our... Get back to what we were doing. Gotta go through the loud thing again. Okay. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Oh no. Oh no. Oop. <laughs> okay, we're going right. Left? Um. Okay. literally cannot see. I cannot see a- ah! I'm gonna beat myself. I'm gonna beat myself. <laughs> Just let me out. <laughs> Just let me out. <laughs> game broken. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> okay. I, I literally couldn't see anything. I was literally running around in the dark clicking. Then I turn around and... Hello, Mr. There Demon. Hello, Mr. Man. <laughs> See, I don't think it's this right. guy. I think I'm, I'm just going insane. Um... Okay. Alright. Some of you. Put the goo in. Do you guys hear the demon laugh? I heard the demon laugh. I don't know where the demon laugh came from. But I heard it. I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> okay. Alright. Bane. Bane of my existence. I do hope that other- mm. Never mind. I don't hope anything happens. I hope everything settles down. I just- I don't want this anymore. Um, I'm deciding a career change after today. I- I can't- I can't use that here. I know, I'm sorry. We can use it there, though. <sighs> okay. Go find Bowser. See. Get some of you. Get some, some of that. I'm just expecting to turn a corner and just get terrified. I don't know. I don't know if he's the one because I think I'm just I'm going insane, which is what's causing me to witness all this stuff. I don't need this yet. He might be though. But he's also not doing anything. Like it's not it's not him. It's me. <laughs> it's not him. Me. Alright, we need you and we need this little goo bag. Oh, ho, 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 
stab your stomach. Alright, so let's think about this. The only thing that's really happened is the opening and closing of the freezers of Winford. There's no markings on anybody yet. There we go. There we go. Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. See, that's just me going insane. I don't think that's for when Whit Whitney's fault. Oh. Okay, okay. Back to the thing that we were trying to do before. But now I know where most of this stuff is. And I also want to open this door instead. Oh, I can't. I can just close it. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, let's get this tubing. Tubing. This thing. Uh, lighter. Spoon. And this is probably where I'm going to cut it for YouTube and come back after whatever happened happens. If I probably can't show it. I don't imagine they want me showing drug use on YouTube. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No thanks. No thank you. I don't even want to know what happens if I let her catch us. Maybe on a different run through, but not today. I don't want to know what happens when she catches us. Oh, did I get this? Oh, yeah, great. Okay. Now, moisturizer. <laughs> Oh, I love that kind of, that scare, you know? Nothing better than having something walk like a dog at you that's not a dog. All right. All right, you're fresh and clean. Can put you back. Nothing has happened with this guy. Besides me going insane, which I think is just me going insane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Whitney back here. Whitney. And I'm gonna grab our first guy. And see how he's doing. See if there's any marks on him. See if his toes are wiggling. First guy is sus. Are your toes wiggling? His feet aren't wiggling. How about you, Will? What are you what are your feet doing? Let's pull them all out. Let's take a nice little inspection of my gentleman. You wiggle toes? Your toes aren't wiggling. How about your toes? No. No. No wiggly toes on anyone. Anyone have any marking? You probably don't, because I, I just saw you. Um, go in. Do you have any markings? Mm, don't see anything on your arms. Okay. So I'll take you, go back, and give you a little inspection. I do have to keep track of... Ooh, I'm going insane. I'm gonna have to pick somebody very quickly. Do you have any marks on you? Yes, you do. You do. Okay. Yep, it's him. <laughs> it should be him. Go here. Go here. 
Yeah, yeah. On his wrist, it shows that mark because um, it's a demon marking. Let me show you on... I think it's this one. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the appearance of new markings on the body, set in movements large or small, and repeated movements in one body more active than the other. And that's currently happening. But you see, that's the demonic... Um, Happen happenings that can happen. So now we're going to take this thing. And what I just did is I took ashes from the um, cremation thing earlier. And put it in a bag. And if you put that on their stomach. And then light it with a match. If it, if it is the demon, the sigil will show up on them. So now we just got to take this guy. How you doing? We just gotta take this guy. Don't get closer. It looks like you're the creepy little Peter. Demon. He's burning. I don't know what you want from me. Do you want him? Do you want him? Ooh. Ooh, it's like this. Ooh, okay. Whatever. Like this. I'm not wrong. And I know I'm not wrong. There we go. Ah, we have completed our first day of the full walkthrough. Here, you guys can watch. The full playthrough. No storyline stuff in the fandom, though, so we need more playthrough. <laughs> Alright, guys, ready? Ready for the demon? I can't wait to get really good at this. And now we see if we were right or not. There you are. Good. 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 It's never over. It's never over. But you survived. What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. He roped us it's into the this. the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless, holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone. But well. choosing between a life of fear or control. <sighs> You're Broke the first me into person it. I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. All the other ones Learn died. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope.
if you come back. Well, what choice do I have, Raymond? I either come back or I'm possessed by a demon for the rest of my life, as you say. So I guess I will come back for another shift. I don't know what Grandma was saying. It's not scary here at all. Oh, okay. 